see what we're doing. We're good? <laughs> I was watching it. All of a sudden, you just go, poop, and you popped in there. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. That was crazy. How do I see comments? Swipe left to reveal comments. Out. Elio. Hello, sir. Who's on? It's Elio so far. Elio, what's up? There's like... So I can't see who's up on here because I'm doing a little baseball. Oh. I don't know if the mics are picking up or not, but it's raining really hard out there. Yes. <laughs> just we need more rain. Got inside just in time. Let it keep building. Oh, my game stopped on me. Playing a little trampoline man. Trampoline man? <laughs> nice. <clears throat> boing, boing, boing. Ooh, out. How's everyone going so far? Any comments or anything? How are we doing over there? Uh, pretty, pretty quiet. Jesse, sup, sup. Run. Let it build a little more. It's poor. Somebody said, what's in the box? You get a 103 there. That's a dry heat. <laughs> I don't know what it got out to today. 80 something? Yeah. It yeah. Was, it was decently warm. Then the rain came. Just we need. Then the rain came. Then it got humid. Ugh. You ever played trampoline man? No. Oh, he just blew what does it look like? <laughs> he jumps, and then depending on oh shoot, which side of the screen you hold, he'll flip. So okay, what's what's the goal? So if you don't catch it right, he goes. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> 112 here in Arizona. Fantastic. Digging the hats. Yes. Well, we got an update on those too, don't we? Yes, we do. <clears throat> really, not, I mean, not really an update, but we've. <laughs> Crazy, Look. crazy, uh, I don't even know what you want to, like, search optimization yes. stuff. Crazy, crazy for sure. Try working on the freeway when it's 103. I actually used to stripe highways back in the day. I put myself through college that way. And that's no fun in the heat, on the hot asphalt, and the sun bouncing off of it. All that good stuff. Not fun at all. It was uh, two years ago we went to Utah for family vacation. And we went out for ice cream, and Ooh. it was 9 o'clock at night, and it was still 103 degrees outside. The nice. sun had already set. <laughs> and so <laughs> you get up at, you know, the crack of dawn. It's not even light out. You can feel the heat still coming off of all the concrete. Really? And whatnot. Yeah, and they start construction out there, like, super early in the morning, like, to pour concrete because it will set too fast and yeah. everything. It's, it's crazy. absolutely crazy. Sounds like it. Are those hats going to be in the driver's bag? No. No, these hats are, are in stock and available for purchase. That's right. Can we get some hints of what's in the box? We'll talk about that in a little bit. All right. And we got 70-some-ish people on now, so 80-some. Okay, so they're jumping game. on here. I smashed my guy's head into the trampoline too many times. What's up, Craig? How you doing, buddy? So for those of you that don't know, this is the live 2019 Axial Fest video that we do every Wednesday night. Yep. I'm your host, Andrew Ziegler, along with Brad Brucker. <laughs> oh, Brad Brucker's now watching. Sweet. <laughs> That's right. So we got your uh, comments rolling up there. So if anything pops up in your heads or comments, questions, throw them on there. Uh, if we don't answer them during the live, uh, we'll get to them at some point. Um, I guess we'll just jump right in. Um, well, you want to start? Why are we here? <laughs> Why are we here? Axial Fest. It's our, our weekly update, talking about different things. This week, we're going to talk about some classes and stuff, um, specific events. And but I guess we'll first we we'll start with a recap for those of you who've been living under a rock um, or don't know Axial or Fest. Or just you know, just 
finding out about actual true. products, which true. we are getting that. That is that's very an true. everyday deal where people are finding out about Axial products just in general. So that's they're true. just now finding about Axial Fest. So for those who don't know, Axial Fest is the gathering of everything Axial. Um, that we're having a Donner Ski Ranch this year. Um, in the past, has been held at Cisco Grove, um, but that campground has shut down and we had to move locations. This is about 20 minutes, uh, 25 minutes away from, from Cisco Grove. But uh, like I said, it's a gathering of everything Axial. And this year is going to be uh, no exception to the excitement and the fun that's going to be had yes. um, with all the cool things that we got going on. So we'll uh, tell you where you can find out more of that information as well. But uh, Axial Fest, Donner Ski Ranch in Northern California. Right here. Map. July 24th through 27th. And you see where my shoulder says Donner Pass and then uh, Lake Angela. So up here is kind of where the outcropping and the rocks are the stuff that we're going to be crawling on. It's a beautiful view across Lake Angela and then uh, down into the valley there at uh, Donner Lake. So absolutely amazing. Like I said, July 24th through the 27th, all this information is available out there. So um, we have a little smart butt comment by, um, smart butt. by the um, cone hit himself. Oh, Mr. Cone of Shame. Yep, when is Axial Fest again? Scott. For you, since you have been living under a rock with a cone of shame on your head, Mr. Broke Neck, uh, Donner Ski Ranch, July 24th through the 27th. <laughs> and if I see you on the rocks, I might push you down. I'm yes. Kidding. He's not going anyway, so don't worry about it. <laughs> yes. So camping, um, there'll be camping available there. There's two different campsites. You have tent camping and RV camping. Yep. Uh, you pretty much, when you get your space, that's your space. So. We don't want to see and we won't allow large groups, you know, yeah. buddies and buddies and buddies trying to camp under one area. It's meant for one group and that's it. So, gotta be safe. Gotta be safe indeed. Yes. Um, if you're wanting to pit, pit, I'm sorry, racist term, camp next to your buddy, um, you will have to, when you go into register, register together. Or to check and then, in. And then actually. You always say register, it's check in when check you check in. in. <laughs> well, sometimes you haven't registered yet. That's true. So Re register, register on-site register or uh, or check in. So do that together. So you go down there and get your site together. Yep, you can pull in together and claim your uh, claim your homestead yep. for the week. So a quick nose real quick. This is easy because I'm so used to saying it. No campfires, no open flames. You can have a barbecue grill or a propane grill, grill. Just no open flames. That's yep. that's including fire pits with propane. Nothing. Um, no dogs, but service animals. You can have that. No smoking. E-cigarettes, normal cigarettes, California cigarettes on the trails. Keep that to your campsite, please. Uh, be friendly to just, everyone else. Just be vigilant of other people around yep. you too. There's gonna be kids and stuff out there. So. Um, also, no motorized vehicles. Only your RC cars, that including pit bikes, are, uh, let's see, pit bikes, brain fart, four wheelers, ATVs, UTVs, all that stuff. <clears throat> With so, the exception of somebody that's in like a powered wheelchair type yes, thing. To, that, I mean, obviously, a common, obviously, yes, that's, yes, yes, yes. Yep. So that is a no on that part. Um, we will have some people who are you know, kind of curious about you know a campfire. We do have a communion fire that we'll do for yep. everyone that's that'll allow everyone to gather meet people talk and everything else so that's we'll have a group fire for everyone unless it's like super dry and super windy and there's a fire hazard going on or whatever then we probably won't but most likely we'll be able to do that yep um there'll be running water there'll be bathrooms there'll be showers so all that so normal camping just no hookups no hookups yeah no hookups yep so your normal camping Stuff that you will see, we have there available as well. Yep. Um, we'll have quiet hours for the generators, so just to let you know for that. So that's pretty much the the nose and. The I guess news. we can throw in there about the generator thing. If you're going to bring one, bring the small, quiet yeah. type. These. And then we will have a charging station as well. Yes, which will be nice. So uh, if you would like us to charge your batteries, we'll golly do it. Yep. We'll have one for sure, maybe a couple, depending on you know the setup and everything. But that'll make it nice. So. If you don't want to bring a generator or you don't want to use your car battery, we'll do it for you. Yeah, you can always go old school and clip right to the car battery yeah. and <laughs> charge that way. But so, yep. <clears throat> but yeah, that is the, the do's and don'ts pretty much. <laughs> Are these California rules or your guys' rules? I guess it depends on what rule you're talking about. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll just leave it at that. So, um, we made a post earlier that we're going to have, uh, what would you say, a special announcement? I don't know what the verbiage yeah, was. Yeah, special that announcement. We 
I guess it's kind of two yeah. special announcements, sort of. Well, well it's a special one announcement. special announcement and then a little reveal of something, I yes. guess. Um, so I guess the, the special announcement is that we noticed um, a few comments going on out there that there was a date posted that pre-registration was supposed to end on June 6th. Somehow, some way, that was a typo wherever it got published, and we apologize yes, for that. Yes, very sorry. Um, we did have some individuals reach out to us saying, "Hey, I thought it was supposed to be this. Didn't realize that it was actually shut down." Ooh, thunder! I know. Uh, May thirty-first. We made posts about it. We talked about it weeks and weeks and weeks I mean, about this it. Is closing our down. So thirteenth video we talked about. So I mean, <laughs> but we understand, and so things happen. The special announcement is we are going to open up pre-registration for one day. That's right. One 24-hour period. We're making hours. this announcement here first, and then we're going to go outbound on Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff to yes. let you guys know. It is going to be next Tuesday, uh, June 25th. Hear that? Next Tuesday, June Tuesday, 20th. June 25th. So it'll start at midnight, go all the way through 11.59 p.m. that night. So you have 24 hours. 23 hours and 59 minutes, whatever. Yeah. Uh, but you're going to have a full day in order to do that. So if you missed missed out pre-registering, this is your chance. This is going to be your one and Especially only last chance. Especially if you know if you're on the fence about um, for some reason being. I don't know why you would be on the fence, but if you were <laughs> on the fence about you know coming, not coming, whatever. This is a good opportunity. This is your last chance to get all the goodies and the privileges of having the pre-registration that you want to have because. There's some cool stuff that you got to have that pre-registration to be able to see on hand. And that's something kind of what we're talking about here, right here. So like I said, we're announcing this live right now. So you guys know about it that are watching or those that watch it later on. We'll also make posts about it. We wanted to give you at least a few days notice to prepare for it. Um, and so there's no way that you're going to miss it. Um, like I said, talking about it now, we're going to make a few posts about it here and there. But uh, pre-registration will open back up. It's on the Facebook event page, Eventbrite, search Axel Fest 2019. You can't miss it. We'll post the links out there again. So like if you did miss registration or decided you want to go now or you, this is the first you've ever heard of it, check it out. All the information you need is there. Uh, we keep talking about it every week. But uh, we're going to open it, open it back up for everybody. So, so. quick question. Chris had a question. Um, so do you have to pre-register? Um, so let's talk about the difference of pre-registering and not. Drop my pen. And that might explain to you, um, you don't have to pre-register, but if you do pre-register or have pre-registered, you get some things that the people that just register on site don't get. Correct. And one of the big ones is? Sneak peek. Sneak peek. Yes, yeah, something that no one else can see. No cameras, no videos, nothing. This is? This will be a brand new product, not announced. Yes. Will be revealed at Axial Fest 2019. For only <coughs> certain times and the people that pre register. Yep. So that's one big thing. And of course, you get a driver's bag. Driver's and bag. And one thing with, with Axial Fest, we are known for awesome prizes as well raffle tickets. <laughs> so the only way, the only way to get raffle tickets is to pre register. Yep. So if you pre register for all four days, you get two tickets. And if you do, from two, two day two day on whatever whatever that is Friday Saturday yep you get one ticket so to get those tickets this is how you get it yep. you can't buy tickets you can't do anything this is how you get tickets for pre-registration so make sure you do that uh, to be able to get that and also to be able to see something cool and very innovative the sneak peek so that's kind of uh, what this nice beautiful red <laughs> shrouded Brad face is doing the oh yeah face here. so this is uh, a box that um, oh, shout yeah. shout out to? Well, you don't want to reveal it yet. No, well, you, you can't say where it is yet until they see it. I mean, you're, oh. you're starting to talk about it, and they don't oh. even know what's going on. Yeah. Well, Isaac, who's usually behind the camera, had uh, other things going on tonight. He uh, he built this beautiful thing, and so uh, you plan on showing it to him or no? Or just yeah. keeping it a secret. Oh, well, we'll show it to him. Okay. I didn't want you to go. To, so you're talking about it. I want you to <laughs> wait till you know you're kind of giving him what it is before we even show it to him. <laughs> okay. So, so hopefully that kind of cleared up the difference between registering and pre-registering. You can register on site when you show up. You're more if you're not to, sure yes. you can make it, but you don't get the sneak peek opportunity, you don't get the driver's bag, and you don't get the raffle tickets. Raffle tickets. So your chance is next Tuesday, June 25th, midnight to 11:59, 24-hour period. Get in on it now. 
that's that's when that's, that's going to be your last and only opportunity. Somehow we made the mistake of putting that date out there, and we apologize for it. And we're and this fixing is, uh, it. This we're is our way it, to, yes. to make up for it. Yes, we're giving you a so. chance. We're giving you a chance. Uh, before we show this, I know a lot of people were talking about the hats. Yep. So the little, just the way things search and everything else on our system every now and then, um, it can be kind of goofy. It can be. Yes. And so the hats have been available for a good month now. <laughs> Probably. About that and long. unfortunately, they were under caps. C-A-P. And, yeah. That's all they were under. They weren't under hats. They weren't under anything else. There was some search optimization that and was so we really fixed messed it. up in the we system. We fixed it. It's on there. So when you look up hat, it's on there. You search uh, Axial we, hat, they do pop up. Yes. So as I believe, I know it's on Horizons. I think it's going to be on Towers as yep. well. So they're there. They're ready to go. Two uh, different styles. Yes. We have the Trucker Track. Trucker cap. Yep. And the, the flat all bill. black and then the flat bill. The flat bill is a, a, like a true mesh trucker hat. So I'll turn a little bit sideways. It, it's all mesh all the way around. And the uh, other one is a, a snapback, but it's a solid, solid hat. Sporting the same embroidered logo on both of them. So they're really cool, really cool hats. And uh, they're available for purchase. Yep. And also, I've been, as normal, we get comments about the shirts. Um, these shirts may be available. Not We've been talking about it, that, not that one. Staff shirt. Um, <laughs> but we actually got something else going on. We kind of started this, and it kind of created a monster that, of how many people were in wanting axial shirts yep. and how big it was because we never ever had that really. So we might actually have more shirts available very, very soon. Or we might be working on some pretty cool stuff. So, and of course. We are working on some really cool yeah. stuff. <laughs> and of course, I'm just going to put it out there. And of course, we're going to sure. have. Um, Axial Fest attire as well. So we'll have Axial Fest and Axial uh, just branding merchandise as well. So be a couple for questions that. here before we move on. Will Camping Spots be able to purchase on site as well? Yes. Yes. Just like any part of the registration will be available on site, you just don't get the goodies. But camping definitely for sure will be uh, available to register on site. Will you ship my driver bag to me if I can't make it, but I do pre register? It's a great question, and if you if you pay and pre-register and and don't ask for a refund, by all means, we'll send it to you. Yeah. If you couldn't make it for some reason, then yeah, we'll we'll definitely send it to you. We're glad to do that. Let's see. I think that covers most of the questions. Steve's watching. Hey, Steve. Well, there's and Mark. Hey, Mark. Rory. How's it going? Fantastic. Rory's on there. Nice. So, so can Story. we can we work on on this a little bit? To so show show them a little bit. Without. Oh, <laughs> your your head's gonna fall down. Oh no no! If you go slow, 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 and they're gonna be like big disappointment. Oh man! <laughs> so this uh, is part of the whole. It's dusty. I know it's a little dusty. This is the sneak, sneak peek, peek box. Yes. So you don't know. See how you can. You, yeah, you can barely see see in there right now. So you don't know what's in here right now. It's got special glass on it that uh, only lets light out and really not light in. Yeah. So you so can't. As, really... as you can see, some I don't know if you really can see it, but you can see the reflection of what's. You can see the camera and actually our uh, the tripod. The, yeah, the tripod in the in the uh, see deadbolt. The deadbolt box. Oh, maybe they can see that back there too. Huh. Oh well. <clears throat> So <laughs> now they're looking really hard, <laughs> but see, you can barely see my hand moving back in there. So there's, there's actually it. something in here right now. Yeah. It's so, not, it's not what the or, sneak peek is. Or is it? You, you can't tell. Oh, so what's kind of cool about this with this, with this <laughs> class is you, I can't, really you see can't see it. it till we turn the light on inside it. Once you turn, like I said, once you turn that light on inside it, it's like daylight in there. Lights up you by your see. Christmas tree and so you can see inside there. What's cool about it also. You're not able to take pictures with it because you can't Turn see it. Turn the light on. Nope. Can't do it. <laughs> can't do it. No, no light. So this is the box that will contain the sneak peek item that only those that pre-register will get to see. Yes. You get a special golden ticket pass or whatever to get into the tent where this will be. Uh, you have to check your cell phone at the door. There's no sneak in the cell phones and nope. all that stuff. There will be people standing by watching. If you take a picture, we'll smash your phone. Uh, <laughs> Throw it in there. But no. Um, 
even trying to take a picture of it with the with the light on is, is is extremely difficult to do but this is you know a kind of a way of us showing you some of the inside stuff of, of what's going on yes. and you know for, for pre-registering so one, th one really thing, cool stuff one thing uh, that's kind of cool is and I want to mention is so we did create a new Instagram page um, axial fest so we've been kind of filling this up a little bit we'll fill it more as we get closer to actually axial fest because unfortunately last month i would say three weeks we've been really hard on rc fest yeah rc fest has been kind of taking up a lot of our time um a lot so now we're all full steam ahead axial fest you'll see more pictures on the, on there more information on there but one thing that we're going to utilize that for is actually at the event so at the event you're able to get information what's going on when it's going on and the biggest thing is when you can come see the the sneak peek Yep. We'll let you know when the sneak peek will be available to see and when it's not available to see. So you need to stay, you know, stay update on that because there'll Absolutely. be certain viewing hours for you. <clears throat> boom, boom, boom. Should put Brad's head in the box. That's funny. <laughs> the white. Brad's head could be in the box. Who knows? <laughs> you won't be able to see that. Oh, yeah, yeah, Brad. Oh, yeah, Brad's liking it. So. But yeah, that's pretty cool kind of set up. I know Isaac's did a lot of work on this. It's been kind of a ongoing process. And it's all secure too. It's all put together. So you can't just like pull the top off to look at it and stuff yeah. too. So you can't. And it's got a lot of light in the base here. <laughs> yeah. It's got a lot of light. So, so it lights up really good. Hey, Randall, how's it going? Randall just checked in. Oh, now he's on top of the oh, box. Show the, oh, there we go. There we go. Boom. Even box the base of the box is even branded. That's right, so, Jeremy. How much to pre-register? Um, all that information will be available on there. A lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of all the information actually for for all the different stuff will be on there as well. I think you might still be able to see some of it, even though the can. sales are I done. I think you can go, but you can still see the information of uh, what the cost and stuff. That's on the be, uh, so. Facebook event and also just event right itself. You want to go on there; it's available to see. So, mm -hmm. all right. So one thing we've, we've been starting to do is starting to talk about um, the events and the classes and everything from here on out. We kind of want to break things down uh, a little more detailed. So last week we talked about the TTC, you know, what it entailed and, and how each class, you know, is what and how to get in each class, what makes up the classes. So in that fashion, we're going to keep on talking about some stuff. Um, so we're going to talk about concourse and the ultra 5k ultra the ultra ultra talk about the concourse first so the concourse um, i believe there's gonna be one more class added to this down the road um, but we'll have the daily driver the the risen the risen <laughs> so that one there <laughs> is kind of just like your your beaters your, your beater with a heater your yeah. junk ride but it, the cool the I want to say rat rodish, but it's kind of you know you're very you're crazy, very trail experienced, perhaps maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Found on a trail uh, after a long time. <laughs> so then we'll have the monster truck class, uh, the trailers, the twelve and under class for all the kids, uh, thirteen to eighteen class. So kind those, of like those teenagers. Yeah, the kids, teenagers. Best theme. And the theme this year is games. Games. So just let you know that it's just in case. So much stuff you could do with with a game theme when it comes like, to a concourse vehicle. It's, I mean, it's, it's kind board of board games, card games, video games. You know, Anything. games galore. There's yeah. all kinds of out, outdoor games. I don't know if you said outdoor games. Yeah, uh, any anything and everything. So huge that huge possibilities. Um, Adventurist, um, kind of like your, I think your trail is the best way to describe it. Your trail-ish truck. That we pretty much what they're going by. It's uh, kind of like the all scaled out. Looks like it's going the adventure on ones, adventure like and and or, stuff like that. Yes. Yeah, it's got all all the the goods in it. Yep. So got that uh, the bomber class. So that's the R10 bomber class. Kind of cool. The best in the show, which is always a good one. Just which is really cool. not a separate class. It's just best of show overall. It'll be in one of those classes, but there will be a best in show yes. pick. Yes. Yes. 
And then we're adding the SCX24 group. That one's going to be super exciting. Yes. Because there's the, so many options. Yes. The, what's kind of cool with this is, and some people are kind of playing around with it right now. I've seen a couple. <laughs> and we've opened, you know, with the 24 scale stuff, it opens up the model scene. All those models out there, and it's endless. And the detail, I mean, you can make all of your scale stuff, because it, it mostly comes with the model. Yep. So Absolutely. that's the cool part. So all the detailed work is actually a lot of times come with it. You might have to do some modifications to make the body fit on the truck, actually on the chassis, but it's super easy. And you have a really skilled ride. And there's a lot of those models out there that'll work based on the, the wheelbase and whatnot. So there can be some really cool stuff in that class. Yes. Very obtainable too. It's yes. That's one thing. That's <laughs> one thing because you know, the, the truck itself is $110, you know, uh, street <coughs> price. And models range from 15 to 30. I mean, there are expensive models out there, but you know, a standard model that you get from Hobby Lobby or your local hobby shop is gonna be roughly between 15 and 30 bucks or so. So, I mean, yep. it's kind of endless of what you could do. That was pretty cool. Like I said, a lot of the um, older models out there, there's some cool stuff. I know I recently picked up about a dozen models, unfortunately, my wife loves that. <laughs> um, so I can start building this stuff. So yeah. Oh, Bradley. So, so that's the, and we'll probably, um, there'll be, might be a couple other categories, but they're more than likely gonna be the category like the best in show where it's not its own category, but it's like a, an overall an type overall deal. Yep. So it won't be its own standalone category. So kind of like the best in show, there might be one or two more of those. And All right. then I guess if you had any questions on the categories, there's videos and, and a lot of photos and stuff from last year's. Yes. Kind of shows the different categories and, and what's what was entered into those last year, kind of give you an idea of, Correct. of what they're all about too. So there's, I mean, it's, it's endless. And don't be afraid, you know, that's one thing. Uh, don't think that, you know, some people may, oh, I don't know if mine's, you know, good enough, whatever. Show it off. Yeah. I mean, come, show it off, talk to people and everything like that. I mean, that's the coolest thing because I guarantee you there'll, there'll be something a part or just about your vehicle someone's going to dig. So I mean, bring it, show it off. Yeah, it's you put all the time into it and everything. It bring it, show it off. So enter it. But if you have any questions, like I said, uh, till we get off here, if you have any questions about the concourse, you know, feel free to chime in here. Um, so the next is the Ultra 5K Enduro Race. Brought to you by Ultra Running Shoes. That's right. I was kind of hoping Chris uh, Jones would jump on here, but I haven't seen him pop on yet. But uh, I know he does check these out, so if there's any questions specific about those that we can't answer, we'll, uh, he'll either answer them on here later or we'll, we'll get, it, get it to him. But we're going to kind of run through what the, uh, the ultra, ultra is all about. Yeah. Um, I had the opportunity last year to uh, be a spotter in part of this race, kind of three quarters of the way through the, the lap area. And it was amazing to see these guys come running up through a ravine, crossing the road, back down the other side through a bunch of obstacles. And they're running a 5K while driving an RC car. Which is crazy. And some of them were <laughs> running box stock like the uh, SCX-10 2 Blazer. That, I mean, they just pulled out of the box and just ran, ran it. And Which is very capable <laughs> of doing so. <laughs> Absolutely. And it was just amazing to see all the different types of people Doing it. You know, there's runners and people that train to do this all the time that were obviously kicking butt. Yeah. But it's just, you know, everybody was having fun doing it. And they're like, why did I put myself through this? But when you see them later, I'm like, I'm glad I did it. I was like, oh, yes. you did an awesome, you know, we're, you were doing awesome chugging up that hill. And so it's really, really, really cool. Um, and this year is going to be no no different. There's some rules and stuff uh, set aside for a lot of reasons. Before we get on rules, reasons. just real quick, there's people yep. get I see. Are there day passes available? No, there's not day passes available, but I guess if you just want to kind of check it out and you live in the area-ish, um, a spectator pass would, would work. Um, and as uh, you know, you can kind of check that out when we do the, the 24 hour launch, if that's something that you want to do. Otherwise, a two day pass is going to be the next best, gotcha. best thing. But as a spectator pass, you can't drive on, on the trails. You can be out there just checking check them out. out. But you, you can't. And you, you have, can't if you're there, you have to have a pass of some sort. You can't yep. just. Yeah, we'll be checking one thing wristbands you, and all that stuff. You have so. to be checked in when you want to get on, on, on the grounds, pretty yep. much. So you have to see us for something. All right, some, some uh, rules for the Ultra 5K. 
One of the bigger ones I know I was getting asked, you know, when we first announced this was the age. Um, it, you have to be 18 years old and older to do this just because of your running. It can be dangerous. <laughs> and running with an RC car. So <laughs> yeah. that's one, one of the things uh, we have to provide by, unfortunately, it's one of the things. All right, uh, eligible classes, pretty much everything besides the Yeti XL. That's the only thing you can't run, pretty much. Yep. It's pretty much open to anything that you want to run. So 2. no 2, Yeti 1. XLs. 1.9s. Yep. So. And we will do a, a tech inspection for it upon check-in for this as well, yeah. just to make sure you're you're running a, a legit vehicle. But it's more about your personal self than it is <laughs> yeah. your vehicle. Most likely the vehicle will make it. You might not. Yeah. You know, it's I know very I'm, physically I'm, demanding and the elevation and all that stuff. But... You know, there was a lot of a lot of people last year that had some vehicle issues or whatnot, and, and they were fixing them on trail. Kind of gave their bodies a little bit of a break and you know, water break yeah. and got back in it. So you know, it it's it's a uh, it's definitely an interesting experience. So uh, some of the rules here is no aftermarket tube chassis or aftermarket frame rails. Uh, you can be either 2.2 wheels, 1.9. So like I said, pretty much your basic vehicle is your your Wraith Yeti. It's the small Yetis. I mean, you can run Yeti Juniors, but it might be a little difficult. But the Bombers, the Exo Buggy, SCX-10, 1 and 2, a, the AX-10s, those type of things um, are your class you really want to you know, be prepared for to use. Yep. Uh, metal axles you can use. Uh, the Yeti must be plastic A-arms. Let's see what else here. Must obtain the axial seat. C channel frame for the SCX10. You gotta have that. Uh, and also the tube chassis has to be a the original plastic tube chassis. So if yours comes with a tube chassis, it must be the original plastic one. So for example, the uh, let's see where are we at. They're up here. The bomber. We'll just go ahead and grab it. It's right there. My bomber. So the bomber, as you see the tube chassis, this is what we're talking about. So it has to stay original in plastic. So that's one of the things, you know, with this, what we're trying to do is make it fun, but yet you don't have to spend a bunch of money in, in, in doing it. And also it makes it more competitive. So it kind of keeps everyone the playing field kind of level. Yep. So that's kind of cool. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Axial transmission, no, af no aftermarket transmission housings. Uh, you have to use the axial gear formation. One of the other rules, drink water <laughs> and carry water with you. Yes, drink drink plenty of water beforehand. Definitely want to drink some water beforehand. Don't chug it right before the race, but hydrate yourself the night before and, and a little before the race. But also, if you do have any issues, please see one of us. I yeah. mean, that's one thing, please. Don't don't overdo it. I don't. We don't want you to... Um, Leave Axial Fest early for any issues. There'll be people stationed around the uh, around the course to help and radioing in. Yes, you know, anything that's going on. And that's so. throughout actually Axial Fest. Just in general, if something happens, please find one of us. We'll help you out. Um, the last and final one, pretty much, is be mentally and physically prepared, <laughs> like you talked about. Yep. So that's one of the biggest things. So um, other things with no restrictions and things you can run. The suspension links open, C hubs open, steering knuckles open. Uh, steering links and drive shafts are all open, so you can run whatever you want there. Yep. So uh, there's, they allow you to do s some things, some upgrades here and there. Yes. But just trying to keep it original, kind of the, the pretty level playing field yes. for everybody involved. Yes. So it's kind of fun, kind of cool. So any other questions out there, or do you have anything? Mm, so like I said, we're see. we're taking these times now. These uh, uh see if there's any questions. Videos, here. kind of you know. Now we're kind of cutting things down a little bit for you guys and going through specifics, you know, to make sure everyone understands what to expect, especially in the classes, so. What was the announcement? Did they say the announcement yet? We'll recap that before we're done. Um, food vendors. Oh, yeah, food vendors or food at Donner Ski Runs. Uh, we will not have food trucks uh, this year. They because do have a cafeteria on site and a restaurant there, which uh, has some pretty amazing food. Uh, we'll get an update here soon on the hours of operation and kind of the, uh, an idea of the serve the food they're going to be serving. They'll be open normal hours. I mean, they're yep. they're not going to be 
they might stay open a little longer than normal, but they'll have the normal <laughs> yeah. hours. Yep, and so there'll be uh, food available there. Um, so no, no worries on that whatsoever. SCX eight, <laughs> that would be sweet. <laughs> uh, no, so this is no aftermarket chassis at all. Uh, that's just talking about the um, Ultra Five K. That was about that. We open a lot of the rules in the normal classes, so it has to be axial based. So like I said, we'll, we'll get more in depth in this, a lot of these rules. We do have the rules up on the axial blog and also the event page as well. We actually break down the rules in each class. So please, uh, I think it's Alex, please check that out. But yeah, uh, we, we've opened a lot of stuff, especially the, the chassis themselves. It's pretty much not all of them are available, but most of them are. It's, it has to be axial based. That's the biggest thing. So that's why this is called Axial Fest. Yes. No pizza truck, bummer. Sorry. Sorry, Mike, no pizza truck. I know. But uh, I know Donner does serve a, a pretty good pizza. Really? I don't know if it's going to be on the menu, but uh, they do have a, have a pretty good pizza there. Interesting. So. It's not a food truck, though. Other comments, questions? Fire them in there. We'll get them answered as we're kind of slowing down. Those are the, those are the two that we were going to cover tonight. Um, the Ultra Ultra 5K and the uh, the concourse stuff. I guess just to recap real quick for those that are asking, what was the big announcement we were making? We have two. Um, well, yeah, one's announcement, one's kind of a showing. One is the uh, sneak peek case here that uh, we're showing it. This is what's going to be uh, in the sneak peek tent that's going to have a vehicle in it. You guys can't see in it right now, obviously. Which, but There's uh, something in there. There's something in there. There is something in there, and you really can't. No, you can't see much of anything in there. You can see our like kind of see my hand back there, but that's a little bit. But you can't tell what it, it is. But you can see more of what's behind the camera. And then the other thing that we uh, talked about was um, reopening pre-registration. Um, you can watch this video back again if you want to, as it gives a little bit more detail. But somehow along the way, we put a date out there that people saw that we were going to close June 6th for pre-registration. We ended up doing it on May 31st, even though we talked about it many times. We apologize for that um, issue and error. Yes. But we're gonna open up the pre-registration back up um, this coming Tuesday, uh, June 25th. And it'll be open for 24 hours. So starting at midnight yes. on that Tuesday, all hours. the way through to 11.59 p.m. that night, you're gonna get a 24 hour window to do pre-registration. All the same benefits apply as if, if you did it a couple weeks ago before. <laughs> Somebody's out there vacuuming. It's not like yeah. they, they hit the wall fell. or fell down or something. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's your. If you were on the fence before, or you just found out about Axial Fest, or weren't quite sure, this is going to be the time to do it. Yep. Next Tuesday, we'll make post on yes. Facebook and Instagram and everything else. Yes, it'll be multiple we'll times. Give you, we'll give you chances, and uh, and we'll kind of repeat chances more and more. Let you know that hey, make sure you you do this then. Yep. A few things. Uh, the VS410 legal, not legal. Nope. Nope. Sorry, that is. It's, it, not, it's it, not an axial. It's not an axial. It's vehicle. axial based, but it's not axial. Yes, that's not an axial vehicle. Uh, that's so sorry. That's not. Uh, that gets asked a lot, but sorry, it's not. Randall asked, "Is what's what trans are available for the trail trucks? Um, it has to have axial gearing and axial." Um, gear ratio as well. Yes. So it has to be axial based gearing and gear ratio in there. So that's one thing. <laughs> Rory's comment about your styrofoam head. <laughs> Did you see it? Oh, geez. Can we make Brad's foam head a pinata for the next game? Eh. Why? There's not much room in this thing to put much candy in it or anything. So. Why, why, why would you want to hurt this beautiful face? It might have to go out to Axial Fest. And it might have to make an appearance make out it, there. Yeah, so, absolutely. <laughs> um, how many trails? We'll be talking about that probably in, uh, next video or here shortly. Um, we're working on that. There will be a number of trails. And we have yes. something kind of neat involved with that as yeah. well. So there will be a number of trails. So You won't get bored. You won't drive the same no, trail over and over again. you will not get bored. <laughs> everything will, also, way. everything will kind of flow a lot better, too. Yeah, absolutely. It will flow a lot better. It's going to be designed to where you don't get a huge backup and, you know, long lines waiting for stuff. So it's a pretty a exciting stuff. 
one up mushroom in the box? Sure. Bing. Sure. Could be. I mean, you can barely see it. All the studio lights in here, and you can still barely see what's in there. So, the box is doing its job. Yep. So, any other questions out there? We've got a few vents here. Andrew says the VS410 uses XCX10 tier 10, ooh, 10 2 gears in the trans and the axles, but the VS410 is a vanquish. Is, it's a vanquish chassis. It's not an axial chassis. Yes. And it's based on it. That's it's that's it, a that gray area there. Unfortunately, but, yes, but we we called it yes. right at the beginning that you know unfortunately yeah. it's not a it's not legal. Um, like I said, it's a it's based off their yeah. thoughts and process based off the axial vehicle, but it's not a axial vehicle. Yeah. So sorry. <clears throat> um, but yeah that we kind of we kind of called that one right at the beginning so mm -hmm. that wasn't you know we came across that issue for right from the get-go so we wanted to solve it right away yep. so sorry absolutely anybody have anything else other than comments questions anything else we should recap oh i know somebody asked earlier about snow um i have seen a few more pictures uh as of recently and the snow is melting pretty well um even some of the really deep spots have melted well the stuff in the shade is uh, kind of holding on a little bit, um, but uh, I think we're going to be okay. Since and, and what's crazy since is we'd be dealing with this right now, <laughs> and it would yeah. be no fun for anyone. So, yeah. like I said, unfortunately, like I said, you know, some people, were, you know, had a plan on coming with the original date, but we had to move it because of this problem. Yep. You know, Mother Nature, we can't control Mother Nature mm -hmm. at all. So it, they dumped a lot of snow on them yeah. and so we I mean to give you the best experience possible with Axial Fest we wanted to make sure you enjoyed it so we had to move the date unfortunately. Yeah there's still ski resorts claiming that they'll be skiing on uh, 4th of July and some even saying in that uh, area like Mammoth I think they just recently said that they're probably going to have a ski season through August. That's crazy. Yeah they That's got a crazy. lot of snow. Most of Mammoth's faith is north anyway so but still, most of, most of Donner is south-facing. Um, there are some areas in the trees that uh, there still might be some snow that uh, well, be nice gets incorporated quite, into yes. some trails. Or we can have some snowball fights, some friendly snowball fights. Friendly. Or, yeah, very friendly. Right. Very, very friendly. A <laughs> um, couple of things. Will there be... Will Axial Booth have replaced... There will be parts there. Yep. Um, uh, RPP, RPP will, will be, be on site. hand with parts yes. and accessories and all that good stuff. So, yeah. So, you, if you break something... You got that, or you want to one up your buddy with lights or Bring goodies or whatever rig, you want to do. Rims, lights, whatever. So they'll have that there. Yep. Um, UMG tent class. I mean, they're. I mean, that fits in the venture class already. Uh, but also, we have it in the TTC class. We have it its own UMG tent class in the TTC. So uh, you should be good to go there. Where do we sign up to help out? That's a great question. We've kicked around that. Uh, idea um, here and there um, once we kind of get that figured out we'll let you guys know or we'll have a sign up thing I, I yeah. think the, the goal is to kind of when we get closer yep I mean we'll we'll take help I mean <laughs> we're we'll, not going to we'll, turn we'll, anybody we'll, away we'll take help there's a lot of different um, things and, that, and uh, have fun but when we get closer to the event we'll kind of get that organized and set up so if you like to help out with something you know feel free and then also we'll have the uh, doctor trail as well so that'll be kind of fun for if you have your local clubs coming, or you know, or a group of buddies that want to come and adopt a trail, uh, please contact us, and we'll get that going as well. Uh, is the hat included in this year's driver bag? Or do we need to purchase one? These hats will not be included in the driver's bag. These are completely separate. These are just Axial brand. They're not Axial Fest specific whatsoever. So, if you want one of these, you're going to have to buy it. Yep. <laughs> plain, yep. plain and simple. Uh, crawled down her last week. It's melting, but so hot lately, so most of it will be gone. It's good. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Well, that's a long one. What was that supposed to say? I'm not even sure how to address that one. <clears throat> Metal axles. It's... I'll, I'll let you. <laughs> I'm not sure so. how. I'm not Other sure what the. 
Sorry about the dead air. Metal, metal, metal axles, that was for the pretty much the Ultra 5K. That was for that. So if you're getting kind of confused, the metal axles is the Ultra 5K type deal. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that was, so if you heard that, that was for that event. Um, please check the rules for the actual adventures classes that you're going to be wanting to run in. That's more specific. That's what, okay, yeah, this that's is, so if you heard that, that's a different uh, deal. So if you want to run with your vehicle and do the Ultra 5K, that one is, you know, they don't want the uh, metal axles. So, Is RPP going to be there? Yes, they will be there. Absolutely. We just talked about that. Them selling uh, replacement parts, upgrade parts, accessories, all kinds of cool stuff. Whatever your needs may be, they will be there on site. Just throwing this. Ooh, I'm Billy's growling. I'm going to sneeze. So you guys are throwing this shindig, but we can only buy upgraded, up-priced parts. Jake, if you can expand on that a little bit and let us know what yeah. exactly is you're trying to say there, we'll uh, we'll try to uh, we'll try to answer that that for you. Um, we will be selling stuff on site as well, um, vehicles and T-shirts and hats yeah. and all kinds of swaggy stuff um, as well. But RPP is there to uh, fulfill any needs when it comes to uh, Replacement parts and option parts and all that good stuff that uh, Correct. that they're they're known for being there and supporting the event. So, any other comments, questions? Throw them in there. We're gonna wrap this thing up here shortly. Give you guys a couple if more we're minutes. Not see anything else? Do you want to give a little hint of what we're talking about next week? More classes for one thing. We'll we'll actually start going into the trail classes. I believe there's six different classes. So we'll probably do the. I'll tell you right now. We'll do the kids ones first. There's be two of those, so they'll be easy to get knocked out of the way. Uh, the other ones will have each one each week just because they're kind of in depth, kind of going to like the whole the whole deal with Vanquish and all that stuff, you know, the chassis, the V, VS1, VS410. So we want to make sure we kind of let people know what they can and can't do. Gotcha. So we'll go more depth uh, as we get closer to it. But yes, the VS410 is not legal. Sorry. So like I said, we talked about that. We'll talk about it again. More in depth when it comes to classes as well. So... And then by the time we meet next week, the 24-hour uh, open period of uh, pre-registration will be done. So, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna hammer that home a few, a few more times yeah. and post it out there just so nobody misses it whatsoever. Um, uh, here's a question: uh, Is this? There's Jake. Um, so, if you break up a single part, actually, whatever. Uh, yeah, you go to the RPP booth. I mean, they're not. So, I don't know if you're worried about if they're gonna be up up in the prices and everything for the event. No, they're just, they're standard. No, they're going to be selling what they normally yeah. sell at. Yeah, so it's, it's not, we're not up in the prices or anything like that. They're if that's, not, if they're that's what you're to, asking. They're not trying to take advantage of anybody. No, there, that's no. That's for sure. They're, they're there to enjoy the the uh, event as well and the party as well. When will the new rig be released to the public? What right. new rig? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Are you talking about the sneak peek rig? I don't know. That'll yeah. be sometime later, but the only way you get to see the sneak peek is if you... Pre-register. Pre-register. Next Tuesday, we're opening it back up for 24 hours. Um, is there going to be a tough truck event? Yes, the TTC. Absolutely. Uh, there's. We talked about that last week. Uh, we'll re I'll talk about it real quick. But the rules are up on the Axial blog and also the event page as well. We're having the tire classes that we normally have. And then also we're going to have two different additional classes in there. We'll have the 1.9 Wraith class, so you can run your Wraith in that class, and also the tire class if, if you like. And we're also going to have the UMG 10 class as well. So there'll be a total of five different TTC classes to run in. Be some fun stuff. Yes. I'm actually looking forward to it because what Parker's been doing is pretty cool. And it's, 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 it's fun to watch and it's fun to, you know, to actually partake in as well. And as like next week and the week after, as we start talking more about some of the stuff and reminding everybody out there that uh, Parker is on board this year and has yep. a lot of influence and uh, going to be leading the uh, the diggers, doing the trails and everything. And then some of the side events that um, we're bringing into Axial Fest um, as has well. been, been a part of his stuff is a lot of fun, cool stuff. Not just going out and hitting trails, but some fun, friendly yes. competitions. Yes. And, and what. So it's really, really, really cool stuff. So we'll talk about that more as we kind of kind of move through these next few weeks. Sound good. Last chance here, guys. Give you guys a few. 
not seeing a whole lot coming through. Like I said, if you do make a comment, if you're watching this later on, we're not live, we'll check back through and uh, see if there are any comments or questions. We'll answer them next week in our live video or we'll you know, make a comment right there yep. on, uh, on the post. But or Also, if you do have a comment, you just always uh, message me and I'll answer back. We're here for you guys. We're providing this information to keep everybody up to date on everything that's going on and yep. do as good a job as we can of getting uh, information about Axial Fest out there. Um, you know, we do enjoy coming to the studio on a Wednesday evening, yes, at, yes. you know, from seven to nine or whatever it is to get all this set up and torn down. But like I said, we're doing it for you guys. And so we want to answer those questions and provide any information that you, you have. If you're kind of on the fence about uh, coming to Axial Fest and you got some questions as to why or whatever, put them in here. Yep. We'll answer them. Um, and there'll be other people that will answer too. If you've never gone before and you kind of want to know what the experience is about, People love to share their experience about Axel yes. Fest. Because you can sit there and talk about it all you want, but until you experience it yourself, it's, it's hard. It's a crazy event. It's, it's hard to, to, really, to really understand it. Um, let's see. Pay for my trip from Nebraska. Elaine, that's it. <laughs> that is funny. Sure, yeah. <laughs> let's see. What's in the box? Eh, who knows? There could be something in the box, and there might not be something in the box. This is the sneak peek box. Please bring the EXO back, old school rock crawling. Michael, what's, what do you mean there, old school rock crawling? I think my probably was talking about it as the competition. I think that was kind of brought up that we might oh, have. Like a true, like a comp. Yeah. Uh, there was talks about, I know with Parker this past two, uh, two weeks ago, yep. that we're going to have maybe a comp area. It's not really, it won't be for say an event, but there'll be a comp area set up that you can go and try and have fun with and see how you and your buddy stack up against each other. Yes. I just I read a comment and went completely blank. So yeah, <laughs> that that is the goal to have. We're not going to be, you know, judging it or anything like that. Um, it could be a possibility that we do throw together a quick impromptu, hey, anybody want to crawl the trail and we'll score it like the, like the old school days or whatever that might happen otherwise there'll be a trail there for you know if you want to bring out your vintage crawler to say vintage crawler crawling hasn't been around all that yeah. long to say vintage I know, it's so, crazy, it's, isn't it? so it's not like something that's been collected dust for 20 years I know, or anything I know. there will be an opportunity to uh to, to to have those out there too so some some cool stuff uh, let's see anything else will there be a monster truck event how do we answer that one brad um, there'll be something for you. Uh, I won't, I'll, Obviously, I'll, in concourse, there's a yes. There's an there end. may not be for say a like a head-to-head -head competition monster truck event that type of deal. Um, but could be we have we haven't not said that we want to do something. Yeah. Um, even if it's just like a basher area, like yeah, a there will be a basher. Yes, yes, yes. The more of a freestyle area, but like I said, head-to-head -head competition, like you normally see, that may not parte. Uh, but you never know. I mean, we're always about changing things up and doing stuff and having fun. So you never know. Yep. Was supposed to be my first Axis Fest. Paid for everything. Boss declined. Time off. Super bummed. Wow, Brian, that is a that's a huge bummer. I don't know what, what <laughs> yes. it's going to take to uh, to talk your boss into it, but man, you're going to miss a great time. Unfortunately, uh, sorry, uh, sorry that happened to you. Sorry, your boss won't let you. Uh, just tell him you got to go play with toy trucks. Yeah, and you'll be more productive when you come back yes. to work. Yes, I don't know. yes. Try try to do whatever you can to to make it. Anything else? Uh, Exoterra class. There will be actually. Uh, you can be able to run that that in a, in a, an event. So there'll be an event that you can run that in. Now this is how many different categories? Contours, you got it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten right now in a best of show, and we might be adding a couple. A couple. A couple. One, two, two couple. You know, so there'd be plenty of plenty of uh, categories in yes. there. Yes, be all kinds of stuff. So, alrighty. We're gonna start wrapping it up. Unless you want to throw that question or comment in real quick, uh, I think we've covered a lot of stuff tonight. Uh, if you uh, missed anything, rewatch this. A lot of great information, especially at the beginning. Yes. Talking about opening back up pre-registration for a 24-hour period. 24 hours. Next week, Tuesday, June 25th, from midnight through 11.59 p.m. on Tuesday, the 25th. Yes. Pre-registration will be back open with all the same benefits as it was before. Because we made a mistake on some things, we're trying to make it up to you. So. Yes. 
we, what we want to make we want to make sure everyone enjoys it. So that's what we're that's why we did it. We want everyone to a chance to enjoy it. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, not seeing a whole lot more uh, comments or questions in there. So unfortunately, I have to go push the button. I got. Yeah, I, Isaac, our our man behind the the Camera. scenes, had something else going on tonight. So, so more important than spend time with us. We, we excused him for this one time only. So, all right, everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Comments, questions, leave them down below. Yeah. We'll get to those as soon as we can, um, or we'll uh, we'll get out there and, and answer them. Brad's trying to creep me <laughs> instead of foam head Brad. It's regular Brad coming in there. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, like I said, comments, questions, leave them. We'll get back to you. We will see you next week. Brad, push the button.